you don't have time to really mess around. If you mess up a little bit, you lose a lot of time on a four hour trip. You want your time to be spent out catching fish. Use your electronics to help you do that. You don't be messing with your electronics. Knowing that you can use that equipment to get the information that you need to make your day happen is so critical. You need to be able to get on it quick because you need your fishing time is very valuable once you get there. Some of the most important decisions that you can make in the charter business is what are going to be the tools that you rely on on a day-to-day -day basis? You have to have confidence in your boat, you have to have confidence in your crew, and your tackle, in your plan, and by all means you have to have confidence in your electronics. I leave the dock in the morning, I have a good idea of what I'm going to do, and I know that the electronics on my boat are going to back that up, make sure that I get where I need to be and be exactly where I need to be on the spot. The opportunity to see the high, low, and medium chirp and see everything in the water column and hone in and dive into what's happening with the bottom and the midsection and the top section of the water columns to see all three levels. The picture that I'm getting for this, the resolution in this picture has really changed the game. We, we went out earlier today and caught some uh, sailfish over a bait ball and I could see the bait ball, I could see it getting forced to the surface, I could see the sails on the side of the bait ball and know where to put the boat so that the fish are Underneath the baits, we had a pack of four up and, uh, and hooked them all. You can actually mark the squid and then you can actually see in 1,500 feet of water, see a swordfish swim right through the squid and you know, you get the bite. I thought we saw a fish and then we got a bite immediately. You didn't think you saw one. <laughs> it was him in 1,500 feet. One of the main things we use it for is catching bait. We might be running 25 or 30 knots. You run over a school of pilchers, turn around, circle back, catch all the bait you need. You gotta start with a small fish to catch the big fish. It's really given me a lot better returns on, on what I'm looking at. It's separating a lot more fish, cleaning the water column up, making it to where I can pick out smaller targets and maybe stick it out at a spot for a little bit longer knowing that you know, there's a wahoo under the boat. When you take people fishing 200 days a year, some people save up all year for one trip. Some people go on multiple trips a year. When you're out there, you want to give it your best shot. You want to be confident that you're going to find fish, you're going to mark the fish, you're going to have the right spots, you're going to put in 100% effort, and you're going to show the people a good time. If you took a pencil and stuck it in the fishing center, and you went from the southernmost point to the northernmost point that we fish, and drew a line like a radius, it would wrap around the 100 fathom curve from 45 miles to 45 miles. That's the parameters for the best saltwater hunting lease in the state of North Carolina. The equipment that I've gotten from Simrad gives me the ability to make the best use of what I've got to work with on this lease that I spend 2,000 hours a year on. They put in, they, they've made everything simple for fishermen. That's what good uh, electronic equipment will do for you. 